Yo, what up guys? Today we're gonna make a new make a new video. Um, we're gonna try a fly that I got from a friend like maybe six, seven years ago. Um, it looks like this. It is a fly with a little long thin goat wing or monkey wing. Um, you have an orange tube, some guinea heckle and some orange heckle and if you can see the blue shine in the heckle, there's some blue fibers. I'm gonna show you everything. But this fly has been a joker for me um, in many situations. It seems like maybe a fly that we use in um, color water and stuff like that. But yeah, it also works works pretty good there. But I think it was in 2011, 12, 12 I think, when I was in Osfossen, Norway. This fly was the uh, was the savior for us uh, there. We uh, and also the year before when my friend was there, um, s zero flies worked actually. And we um, put on this fly. Paul Anderson is the name of the guy who came up with this pattern. Um, so credits to him. Uh, I just uh, I just use it uh, use it myself and yeah, all uh, all. Um, all the credit to him. Uh, so it's a kind of a joke. I don't use it that much. Uh, I use it in special conditions and sometimes when everything else else doesn't work, like a Francis, etc. Um, and yeah, in Osvalsen when it was really low, low water, there was few fish running. There was a lot of steady fish. Um, yeah, and we and we didn't manage to catch anything. So um, we. Uh, um, we was kind of frustrated because this is a place where you have thousands of salmon standing in front of a huge fall and uh, you can see them jump everywhere and uh, it's quite expensive to fish there quite uh, exclusive and uh, yeah you want to uh, you want to catch fish when you're there because there are yeah it's so frustrating so um, this was the savior uh, I have some ideas why it is you have this nice contrast between orange and blue um, that, that is not that it's not used that often um, in many situations and you have the blue um, the dark blue flashes that gives an extremely cool color in the sun and also it's really slim fast it's on a bottle tube um, so yeah you get down pretty fast and yeah, you can uh, you can mix it up with floating lines and sinking lines, etc. And uh, yeah, we fished it with an intermediate line, t completely intermediate, the whole line, uh, long leader, maybe twenty feet or something, I guess, uh, zero point twenty eight. And yeah, that that was the savior, and we caught maybe five six fish uh, in, in an hour uh, with this setup. And yeah, that, that was kind of a feeling that we uh, we did something right. Um, so cool pattern, you can try it out. I don't have a name for it yet, but uh, I'm gonna figure something out. Um, onto the fly, you can tie it on different different bottle tubes, of course. But I'm using this uh, cobber tube. Uh, it's not in cobber though, but. Uh, it's a bottle tube, the, the old loop tubes, if you've seen them from the 90s. Uh, this is a um, copy, copy of them. Or this might be original actually, but yeah, whatever. You can get copies of them. This is the loop bottle tube. I tied them on that one. Um, and yeah, that is also something I want to show you guys. The 1.8 millimeters, they won't fit in these tubes. So, what I used is a Fredin in the tube they are less than 1.8 i think they are 1.6 or 5 or something they are even too thick so what i do is i stretch them because you can stretch these ones and you make them slimmer then you take the slim side you stretch it you pull it through and you just drag this up there like that and then just burn it on each side. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, the, the Stanton tubes, steering tubes, they won't fit because they're too tight. 
So I'm using the Vineyard uh, silicon tubes in orange for the yeah, it's quite a simple fly actually. Um, I have orange heckle as I start with this. Um, black tiny thread. Um, you have some strong Guinea feathers, silver Dr. Blue. This one's as the next tackle. We have some goat or some monkey or what you prefer. This is goat from Sasha Flyfish. Shout out to him. Um, Cashmere goat, pretty sick as quality. The flesh will be like this crystal flesh in this yeah sick ass blue color. Then we end off with some nice jungle crack. Actually got a hold, a hold of uh, seven capes now, so I'm so stoked about that. And yeah. I have jungle cock for a while now and uh, to all the haters out there for the jungle cock I feel you guys and uh, but I, I, I really need this jungle cock to, to because so many people order this jungle flies with jungle cock and they, they don't think they catch fish without jungle cock but that's wrong I have tons of flies that doesn't have jungle cock for example one of the biggest fish catchers this one red shadow the, the Francis they don't have jungle cock, you don't need jungle cock. Simple as that. But of course the fly gets more pretty and I have to admit if, if I admit that if I have a fly without jungle cock and one with the same pattern, I use the one with and that's just psycho psycho uh, psychology. So uh, you have to believe in it and I think we have to change the mindset about the jungle cock because we don't need it. And the substitutes are, uh, I think they are way good enough to uh, to uh, adjust that if you if you you mean that you need one, or you can just put on a 3D eye or something. I don't know, yeah, from uh, like a plastic eye. But well, um, yeah, I was also want to show you guys something else. I've been doing this project for uh, for the Netlam production guys um, with uh, some fundraising for their new series. And as you can see, I tied shitloads with Chanel Blends. And uh, I'm gonna, I've tied 50 of them, and I'm gonna give them all away to Nightland guys, and they have sold them. And uh, yeah, it's a fundraising for their new project uh, with their movie that uh, they were just released about, uh, or were going to release with, with, about the sea trout. Uh, so I think they have. A fundraising still going and you can sh check that stuff out add some stuff to them giveaways uh, cash whatever that you prefer or you can just buy the movie watch it everything is okay um, yeah so uh, let's get get into the movie uh, I, I forgot to t tell you about that uh, sometimes I like to add polar bear as um, an underwing in this case, I'm using a really good quality goat. I mean, fox uh, as an underwing, this silver fox. Um, and yeah, that's it. So let's get into the fly and tell me guys what you think. Uh, hit me up with some comments or some DMs on Instagram or on YouTube, whatever. Uh, we just passed fucking 400 followers on YouTube and I'm so fucking happy with that. And uh, yeah, uh, once we hit 500, I actually planned a surprise about a giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna hit up with 10 of my 10 flies, two of uh, like five different patterns with uh, uh, with um, two of each, and I'm gonna give it away to a random subscriber here. So yeah, stay tuned. Hit hit 500, guys. Five fucking hundred. <laughs> it's huge. It's enormous. I was like, I'm like. If you place 500 people in one big circle, you can see them all. And I'm like, that's many people watching. And I'm like, ah, I'm stoked. I'm so happy with that. And thank you so much. And I really appreciate you all. And yeah, I wouldn't be doing this without you. So huge thanks. Okay, let's get into the fly. Okay, folks. So this is the pattern. Um, 
it looks like this. So let's get into it. Start off with the whoops. Start off with the inner tube of the bottle tube, like that. Add on the silicone tube. Like that. Cut this off. I think the silicone tube is actually a really good trigger point with the orange one inside. Like that. Okay. Just going to steady the cam a bit. That. Okay, um, so we start off by tying in the tying thread. Like that. Orange shackle. Pick out a piece that's not that huge. I don't want it to be really big because it's uh, you're gonna have the guinea echo over afterwards. I think this one looks okay. Like that. Tie in the orange shackle as I showed earlier. Start at the back, we pull forward and drag the shackle backwards for each rep. Okay, like that. Only hit one rep over the heckle stem so I completely secure it yeah like that almost like that <laughs> yeah there we go Cut off this little stem that we have here. Okay, um, now are we gonna add on the, the fox that I told you guys about? This is just to give this goat a steady underwing. The reason I don't use polar bear hair is because um, oops, my light. Uh, it's because uh, we uh, uh, we want to have a slim profile, and here I'm. I think this super slim fox gives the good stability and also the profile. It's uh, will stay slim. Of course, a bit tiny polar bear wouldn't do any difference though, so choose whatever you want. It's not like uh, there is a rule. <laughs> like that. Just a small little underwing here. Pick out a Guinea heckle that I think is proper.
la porte. And yes, guys, this hackle is a pain in the ass to hackle with, so don't judge me. I really fucking hate it, to be honest. Do the same as we did earlier, just go around and pull the hackle backwards. So hackle control is extremely valuable here because this hackle is so hard to work with, I think. This is actually a good quality Guinea hackle. You have those who are so bad quality and they are even worse. So be gentle with it. I'm gonna go a couple of wraps backwards just to cover up the stamps so they won't fall off if anything breaks. Like that. Like that. Yeah, actually, I felt like this. I hate when there is a piece sticking out. Like that. Uh, now we hook up with the goat. Don't take a too fat wing here. You want a slim wing. And here is the here is the thing. Don't pick out uh, when I when I start tying this fly. Like yeah, it's about eight years ago now. Nine. Um, I actually always picked out a wing, like a goat that was too slim, and I tied it with a too slim wing. And my friend Paul he told me that. If you keep doing that, the fly will, the wing will collapse because of the heavy, uh, heavy uh, bottle tube and the hackle and everything. So I started doing a bit thicker wings. You have to find the magic point there. Like uh, you figure that stuff out yourself though by doing this sometimes. But don't don't tie it too slim on a sunray shadow with only a plastic tube, etc. There is no problem, but on a fly like this, don't make it too skinny. Just a tip. I think we got it there. I'm adding some super glue just to secure the secure the goat hundred percent like that. Okay, um, now we're gonna take out a little blue piece from the flesh. So I just add one, one little string of blue. Like that. Just wrap that under a thread like that. Leave it a bit on the this side. 
couple of wraps. And then we take the other one on the other side. Oops. Like that. Now we have one on each side on the top. Cut off the parts like that. Okay. Um, yeah, some varnish are added. Uh, and we add a couple of jungle cogs. that okay like that I have a kid here that's about to go to bed and he's a bit angry now. I hear. I use my scalpel to cut off the waste pieces of the jungle cork just, just to make a clean cut. Like that. Some super glue to secure the jungle cork. Like that. Three half sticks. Like that into the super glue so they're secure. We finish off the head with a varnish just to make it crystal clear. Then you protect the materials, it will go into the Built and also fly will hold longer. So there you go. That's my uh, Joker fly for low water fly, low water fishing in uh, in different rivers. It also works in colored water and <laughs> else. Yeah, I caught fish on it in uh, in uh, Numedarslagen and in Ramenserva. So. It is a good fly. Uh, I haven't tried it that much actually in Orkla and other rivers that are humus colored, but yeah. Give it a try and uh, tell me what you guys think and hit me up with some comments. And I would really like you guys to tell me what more to tie. What do you want to see? What more do you want to see? You, you want to see shrimps? You want to see big tube flies? You want to see bottle tubes? You want to see hook flies? I can, I can tie everything, so just hit me up with a, with a request. Uh, in the comments or DM on Instagram or whatever. So thank you very much for watching guys and I uh, see you guys later. Okay, bye.